All right, so now that we are in our image, um, we have added all three of our images together. We have our top one, our middle one, and our bottom one. You'll notice that they shift a little, the tripod might've moved a little. So what we need to do is align those layers. So this is the first step we're gonna do. So you click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one. It will select all the layers. You go to edit, auto align layers. And then you wanna make sure that um, those are checked off, you don't really need that. And then I usually do auto, um, that's a good one to try. If it doesn't work the first time, you can always try it again. So hit okay. It's going to align these layers because they were a little bit off. So now if we click, you'll notice that they're perfectly in place. All right. So now that we are there, what we need to do is put them in the right order. So we have actually them set up pretty well. So the first thing first, I'm gonna start with a top layer because I have two going on and I'm gonna mask so I have just um, Joseph in the front. So I'm gonna take a selection tool and because nothing's overlapping, it's really, really easy. So I'm just go ahead and select him right there on that top layer. And then I'm gonna hit the layer mask and now he disappears. Um, now I can turn off that layer, go to the next one. And this time I need a more complex tool because I do have that ladder in the background. So I'm gonna use the quick selection tool and I am going to zoom in to his legs. The quick selection tool works by, oops, Command Z. Let's go to that <laughs> correct layer. Um, on this layer here. I'm gonna go ahead and paint over his foot, paint over the foot. And then if you get something that you didn't intend to, you're gonna hold down option and your mouse is gonna turn into a minus and you're just gonna paint over that area to deselect it. Um, you can go back in later with a paintbrush. So those shoelaces are probably gonna be a little tricky. So I'm deselecting. Deselecting, and then back. And I'm gonna paint the other foot. So I'm just gonna get the shoe. And then I'm gonna hold down Option and deselect. Deselect, select that part of the pant, deselect it. And if it's not perfect, like I said, you can go ahead and paint back. All right, so that's pretty good. Oops, let's get that little heel there, hopefully. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the layer mask. Um, so that looks pretty good, but it's a little choppy. So now um, you can either double click on the mask or go to select and mask. And you're gonna get the cutout and you can refine the edge of the mask. So if you're not in the red overlay, I suggest just clicking this drop down menu. Um, you can also do it other ways so you can see the edge here. Um, but the red one's gonna work for us. So now I'm just gonna play with some of these options. So I'm gonna go to edge detection and use smart radius. And it tries to detect the edge of your object automatically. Um, you can also smooth out the edges, feather and soften it a little bit. Um, you're just watching the edges of your mask here. So I can unfeather it. You can also shift edge so it looks like it's a little bit too close. I'm going negative and it's cutting into my object. And then the last thing is I can actually go and use the brush tool. And I'm going to hold on option and deselect this part here. You could also paint with black and white on the mask. That's another option. And then just shrinking down that brush. Oops, and hold an option. And this part probably doesn't matter because the sky is behind it. And then if you wanna add some stuff back, tapping on the bracket key, let's paint that back and hit okay. And now 